characters. My name is Joel Reardon. I'm Eric Hansen. And I'm Alex Satsu. And we are the Hamlin Mythbusters. The myth we are going to be researching was brought on by this man, Rick Riley, in his award-winning book, Shanks for Nothing. In this book, a main character, Ray, is in a bind trying to obtain enough money to keep Ponkanog Municipal Golf Club, a piece of crap course that Ray calls home. In an effort, he has a run-in with some gamblers and soon learns about gambler's rules. Anything goes in this game of golf, even frozen golf balls. Riley explains through his character of Ray that the gamblers had two ball pouches and in one of the pouches all the balls were ice cold. Smart. Ice cold balls go farther than regular. This is the myth we will be tackling in our experiment. When a golf ball is hit, the impact, which lasts less than a millisecond, determines the ball's velocity. Launch angle and spin rate, which of all are influences of a trajectory, and its behavior when it hits the ground. A ball moving through the air experiences two major aerodynamic forces, lift and drag. As Joel is drawing on the whiteboard, our small sale experiment will consist of two wooden sawhorses, a three-foot metal rod, and a sledgehammer. The sledgehammer is attached to the metal rod through a hole drilled in the shaft. By placing the rod through two drilled holes in the sawhorses, we attempt to mimic the golf swing of an individual. The golf balls we use top flight XL1s were placed upon a rubber tee and a driving mat to ensure consistent ball striking. This is our rig in motion, with Eric pulling the hammer back as if a golfer is taking his backswing. This is our small scale experiment set out on the Robin Science Center lawn with the beautiful old main tower in the backdrop. Yeah, it sounded, it sounded like glass. It like hitting a rock. Shit's gonna break when you hit it with an actual thing. Yeah, I know, it's gonna be awesome. I know. Let's see. Upon completion of our small scale experiment, we put together our results and came up with the following info information. A frozen golf ball traveled an average distance of 17 feet. A liquid nitrogen golf ball traveled an average distance of 16.3 feet, while the room temperature golf ball traveled the farthest at an average distance of 17.8 feet. The data from our small scale experiment did not confirm our myth. However, we felt that the small scale wasn't an exceptionally good way of mimicking a real golfer in action. 
Therefore, we set out one of our own, Joel, to break out his own golf skills to do a simulated normal golf experiment. There is a possibility of human error in doing this task, but there is a great deal of human error in golf. While researching this myth, we found that Golfsmith Magazine, a worldwide leader in golf tips, said that a warmed golf ball will travel farther than a regular one. We decided to tackle this myth as well. During this experiment, I showed out my real side by swinging the golf club like I would my trusty baseball bat. After our four tests, our results coincided with our small scale testing. The frozen golf ball came in behind the room temperature golf ball once again at 255 feet compared to six, 268 feet, respectively. The liquid nitrogen failed to break 200 feet for an average, coming in at 197.5 feet. Our findings from the Golfsmith magazine proved true with an average topping all other balls at 275 feet. In our results, there is a small difference in average distance between the different golf, golf ball temperatures. As both our small scale and large scale tests prove, our myth that a frozen golf ball will travel a greater distance than one at room temperature is busted.